for you to download our app because sometimes you can log into www.baseradio.co.ke and we might have some difficulties but in the app it is always a sure bet for you to listen to base v one journey my name is paulo manaspoti and in studio today i'm not alone i have another gentleman um, on my left in the left eh? <laughs> I left just to confirm, <laughs> and uh, Eugene Agogo Senior, whom I believe he is on the way. Anyway, Vini, yeah, Niaje, Salam, Masala, eh, Mambo Mazuri Mtani, uh, Mambo Mazuri Mtani, Ukobie tani. Kama Gurmaya na Basila, our pen out is a jogger, my last defendi team. Like any, our pendy team, like no penda or Jazai, like any Mambo Mtani, Kumetulia, Nisa, Niliski, my fan was Shabana Pio and a penda team or a pendy. I know. Anyway, mambo yamekuwa yamekuwaaje ni one weekend eh eh e, tangu kwa hapa studio ni eh mm-hmm. uh, e, ilikuwa ni weekend ya mwisho nzo ya tuna uh, FC Lopez tunafunga nzo ya Shug eh angalau tukajika mwe tukajika that was very important e, that step was very important mshindi wa kwanza kule ngo <laughs> <laughs> yes mshindi wa kwanza kule ngo na uh-huh. unaweza kutuweka at least a mori kidogo kuona kwamba at least tunachukua kutoka mali lakini mm. vijana wa Nairobi uh-huh. city stars hawajui hilo achidi ya kocha wao Nicolas Muyoti uh-huh. wakaweza kuturudisha katika lile jangwa I don't know why Muyoti chose to beat us but anyway <laughs> it is okay so uh, uh, we are going to talk about very many things today but not that many uh, because uh, you all know that in town uh, we are talking about the Gormaya bus mm-hmm. uh, the new bus uh, it is an award it is an award ama ni gift ama ni donation <laughs> anyway <laughs> from the eh uh, jamani wa CSICT eh Eliud Owalo because nimeona imeandikwa Owalo Foundation Uh, that is one thing tunaenda kusikia comment ya vini hapa na mimi pia na tuangalie pia mashabiki wa receive aje ukiingia pale ndani ya pages kadhaa lakini page ya gor muhimu sana kumekuwa na player saga eh, bandari na sofapaka baru uliipata eh mm-hmm. Eh bandari wale watu andike barua amekuwa kilipa mtu lakini <laughs> any player wa timu nyingine ndio mambo yetu hapa niliona watu wamesema that show still uh, we are playing amateur football i don't know what are your opinions anyway hapo kwa comment section kwa your live broadcast after usha share ukagonga like unaweza tuweke hiyo comment hapo and uh, from that pia goro wako na jezi mpya eh mm-hmm. hey goro haya mumeamuaje bana hii weekend <laughs> lakini murangasil mtuulizie yeah. murangasil mtuulizie tafadhali sisi hatutaki hizi sherehe ziendelee sana <laughs> anyway kumekuwa na uh, matches za FKFPL tutakuwa tunaangalia results analysis kidogo ya games za weekend lakini pia UEFA Champions League imekuwa tutakuwa nasikia highlight ya Champions League kutoka kwa vini ilikuwa gani lakini tutakwenda kuangalia EPL this weekend. Mm-hmm. Do not forget. Kwa hiyo picha tumeweka hapo tumeuliza Chelsea versus Manchester City. That is the highlight of the weekend in the EPL. Nani anaenda kwa mshindi? Comment ni fupi fupi tutakuwa tunapita nayo. Mm-hmm. Karibu sana. Ah oh, eh, nataka tuanzie hapa kwa Gorma ya. Eh. Mm-hmm. Eh, basi pia wewe ume umepitia ume pitia katika mitandao sijafika maeneo ya kasarani mimi uh-huh. eh, lakini kwa sababu mitandao ipo uh-huh. eh, na ni nusu ya kuonana uh-huh. imepitia pitia katika mitandao uh-huh. mm, umeona basi pia wewe ah nimeona muona muona gari kubwa mm. eh gari kubwa tu eh, kuna watu kuna kuna comment nilikuwa napitia katika mtandao uh-huh. na nikapitia kwa page moja mtu anaitwa Jeff uh-huh. Kinyanjui uh-huh. na Jeff Kinyanjui ameandika kitu ambacho naona kuna some mixed reactions uh-huh. was amesema arguably the most prominent team in Kenya is currently engaged in an extensive celebration showcasing to the masses the bars generously generously underline donated by a politician meanwhile the other clubs of comparable stature within East Africa are strategically planning to assert their dominance in the African arena instead instead of embracing such ambitious endeavors we find ourselves celebrating a display of mediocrity that is from Jeff Kinyanjui seasoned uh, sports journalist in Kenya mm-hmm. uh, let's now come to Vini <laughs> <laughs> reaction ah uh, mimi sema kwamba timu ya Gormaya kuweza kupata basi uh, kwanza inaweza kukidhi vile viwango vya timu ya Gormaya kiuhalisia ukiangalia uh, ni klabu kubwa tu mchini mataji takriban uh, 20 si mchezo vile yes. na yeah, wame, not a joke. Eh, si mchezo vile na wameza kupata ukwasi huu kulingana na matokeo yao mazuri kutokea alipokuja aswa uh, 
yule mwenyekiti naweza sema Ambrose Rachel tumeweza kuona timu kutokea mwaka 2008 kama zitakuwa zimekosea timu imeweza kupata uh, mafanikio mengi sana chini ya Rachel na anapotazamia kuondoka ofisini tazama Gormaya uh, chini ya uongozi wake uh, waziri wa humu nchini uh, waziri wa ICT anaweza kuwapatia basi na ni basi mzuri ambalo nitasema kwamba linaweza kuinua hadhi yao sasa hivi at least Gormaya wana uwezo wa kuangalia kwamba wana, wana mahali anavyosema kinyajui ni ni jambo la kuweza ku, kuondoa la, 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 ama la kuweza ku linatamausha li, 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 kwa mwingine kusema kwamba Uh, ukiangalia iwapo basi huyu ni waziri ambaye ni mwanasiasa anahusika na kuweza kuwapatia gormaya sikatai kwamba labda ana hiyo haki lakini hizi club nyingine kama pale nzo yani nani atakuja kuzikuamua na kuzishika mkono kwa uh, kuna viongozi tu pande huwa <laughs> wajua uh, utamu uh, utamu wa hiki kitu ni kila eneo uh, lina kiongozi mwanasiasa unaona kwa sababu kama tutakuwa tunangoja we are waiting for the politicians mm-hmm. uh, to give to these teams uh-huh. then every region has politicians mm. sasa basi kila so yon. even in Nzoia Sugar we have politicians <laughs> even the FC Leopards one tutakuwa kina Eugene Ehe. yeah So uh, haya okay hizi klabu zina wale wanasiasa sikata lakini ukiangalia si wote wana uwenzi mpira ni mm-hmm. wachache sana ambao wana uwenzi mpira na mm-hmm. swala hili si kwamba kila mmoja anaweza kulitimiza maana kila labda mwanasiasa anaweza usika mm-hmm. akaweza kupatia na labda hela kidogo ziweze kutumika kama hela za mafuta mm-hmm. lakini kuweza kufikiria swala mzima angalia angalia alivyosimama uh, yule Eludo wale kwa niaba Gormaya mm-hmm. si basi tu wameweza kusika kwa maswala tofauti waliposhinda ligi na mkono mtupu aliweza mm-hmm. kuwa zawadi kima cha uh, milioni kadhaa mm-hmm. akaweza pia kuweza ku lipa baadhi ya madeni ambao labda walikuwa wanadaiwa na ba, wale wachezaji wadogo ili waweze wa, wa, kuona kwamba wanapata ule na, ile nafasi ya kuweza kuendelea kufanya uh, mambo yao humu nchini kwa sikatai kwamba Gormaya kuweza kupata basi sasa hivi ma, wale my fans of Slepa watakwambia kwamba wamekaribia kwenye ligi la mababi sasa hivi mm. kwa sidhani kama labda ligi ya mabasi mm, mambo ya kutumia yale <laughs> magari kutoka la Kisama uh, <laughs> labda kwenda viwanjani yataisha mm. kwa sababu sasa wanatambulika wanapoingia wanaona kwamba uh, timu ya Gormaya inaingia mm-hmm. na pia labda nikim lizia kwa swala hilo nitasema kwamba mm-hmm. uh, timu ya Gormaya sasa hivi wakija uwanjani angalau wana ule ushindi wana ule uh, wana, wana vitisho fulani mm. yani ukiona kwa sababu eh, ukiona, eh, eh, ukiona, ukiona Gormaya anakuja kama labda we ni kwa mfano wewe ni Shabana kwa mfano ukiona Gormaya anakuja na anashuka kwenye basi lake mm-hmm. basi una kila kila haja ama labda kila kila sababu ya kuweza lakini ngwevi ni tumekuwa tukipigwa na basi <laughs> <laughs> lakini Gormaya <laughs> wanaposema lakini wanakuwa tukiona some bad things kwa uwanja basi wanaposema wanapofanya mambo yao ninasema kwamba ni wakati mzuri kwao mm. na linaweza kuki na nafasi yao wanapozidi kufanya uh, humu nchini msimu huu hatuna ile ban yes. wakishinda ligi mm. simu jao basi mafanikio yatakuwa mengi mambo yatakuwa mazuri kwa wacha tuangalie mafano wamesemaje kwa page ya Gormaya na uh, mm. pitia comment kidogo mm. uh, Gideon Reasons anasema clean uh, Ivan Sochang anasema is this a Nwalo Foundation bus or a Gormaya bus mm. adhani wameka hivyo juu ya wale watu wanadaita <laughs> club wa si auction <laughs> oh, eh, wanaume ni wajanja <laughs> Onyango <laughs> Joffrey mm-hmm nataka kijalua hapo dogo yangu sielewi <laughs> eh, Dennis MYG Owalo Foundation congratulations for the donation eh, last month Geoffrey was Owalo Foundation necessary it was necessary club iko na madeni eh, <laughs> Men Collins Masterclass Wesley Everton Pure Class uh, Mavo Marvin we want to see registration of the bus Sikuwe ni vitimbi. Ricky Shines it is not a donation if the original ownership title is still in the donor's name. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. Eh? <laughs> the new Gormaya bus has been loaned to Gormaya by the Eliud Owalo Foundation. Mm-hmm. Say it with me. Eh? <laughs> MIKE is truly embarrassing to witness a 55 years old club celebrating the donation of a mere team bus from an individual especially when the club has the means to afford it but fails due to poor leadership it's quite unfortunate <laughs> franklin billy what raila could not do owalo has done it <laughs> wewe umeguza baba <laughs> agagpo elvis breaking news from hapail don't use that bus it is from eliud owalo foundation would <laughs> our social media team is letting us down Our patron is the digital CS and we are doing bad late on the breaking news of the club updates. These admin 
need to be changed. As up, Kennedy Omolo, let's hope your rogue fans will not stone it soon. Ah ah, imetosha, imetosha. Hizo ndizo comment kadha ambazo mashabiki wa Gurumaya wameweka kwa page yao. Sasa Gurumaya hata tumeachana. Twende kwa Jezi. Eh umekutana na Jezi ya Gurumaya mali? Mhm. Jezi ni safi lakini ukiangalia, ah oh, demo mwenye amepiga hii picha. Uh. Eh. Eh, uh, yeah, udawa ipiga hii picha. Hiyo uh, ni mbadala. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> bazum fulani akakaa hapo chini. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sasa shida yangu ni hizi jezi watu wananunua wapi? Maybe wewe unajua mali watu wananunua? Ah, za Gormaya si zinjua, si zinjua mali ambazo zinaweza patikana kwa mtu. Cuz IFC najua ni hadi ofisi. Eh, za ofisi labda ofisi na siku ambayo labda kuna mechi. Eh, sasa eh. hii ya Gormaya sijapata any info. Anyway, <laughs> eh jezi iko fiti. Eh, kuna mtu alikuwa ameuliza Twitter asubuhi nikipitia pitia Twitter tu. Uh-huh. Kwa nini hizi jezi zinakuwa expensive eh, kuliko zile za majuu na za majuu ziko imported? Lakini nikamwambia one day I had a conversation with the FC Leopards the Secretary General Mr. Gilbert Andugo mm-hmm. na alikuwa ananielezea cost ya kutengeneza hiyo jezi. Mhm. Eh haiwezi cost hiyo pesa ya ku production na hiyo chip. Mm-hmm. So mafana ambao mnalalamika hizi jezi hawa sasa wanatengeneza ni ni cost eh, ni costly. Mm-hmm. Na ukiangalia pia ukiguza hivi na zile karatasi zingine cause pizza za majuu ziko na classes. Kuna ile karatasi ya 700 kuna ingine ya 1200 na kuna ile original ya 2500 yeah. na kuna ile ya player kit ya uh, 3000 hapa Kenya mm-hmm. kidunua hiyo jezi so msikoe mna complain muende mba hiyo jezi ya Gormaya mm-hmm. yes even if you don't know something about football it is a very good uh, cloth to you it can be a cloth to you if you don't know about <laughs> <laughs> football hapa ni haja hivi ni kabisa kabisa anyway moving on eh, eh tunatoa pale bandari 22 minutes zimekatika na ndio na nataka tuingie kwa games za weekend eh umekutana na barua mhm eh umekutana na barua bila shaka na hiyo barua uh-huh. nikiangalia man mimi nashangaa hii ni ball gani tunacheza Kenya cause of course bandari wameamua kuandika barua uh-huh. wako na player ambaye kuna contract na wao mm-hmm. uh, they have said that in the letter mm-hmm. uh, they tried to talk to the lawyer of the player mm-hmm. so that they can terminate the contract mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. ndio mambo iko ni uh, legal uh-huh. kwa kuwa na legal framework hapo uh-huh. uh, they want to terminate uh, the contract mm-hmm. legally mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. but player anacheza sofa park <laughs> na player ame akokwa listi ya wao kulipa mshahara. Hiyo uh-huh. story umeiona? Nimeiona. Comment yako? Ah uh, mimi naweza sema kwamba ni utepetevu ambao unashuhudia unashuhudia huko nchini. Na si swala la kiprofessional is not a professional matter because ukiangalia a uh, player anahitajika tu muda wote aende akacheze labda club nyingine iwapo kla, kwa, kwa mkopo iwapo klabu ambayo labda imemsajili na anamkata banao ya kudumu itaweza kumruhusu. Lakini um, mchezaji kuweza kupatikana kama anapiga soka kwa klabu nyingine na bado analipwa na klabu nyingine ambao haikuweza kumruhusu kuweza kuondoka katika labda uh, eh, klabu hiyo inaonekana inaonekana kwamba basi kuna shida mahali kuna nuks mahali kwa sababu labda binafsi nitaweza kusema kwamba labda mchezaji hapati nafasi ya kucheza mm. e, wapo atayetaka kwa nafasi ya kucheza na labda klabu iweze kufanya ama labda iweze kuzembea mm-hmm. kuweza kumpatia ile nafasi ya kuweza kuondoka basi maswala kama yanaweza tokelezea kwao sitasema kwamba tumlaumu sana eh, mchezaji na mm-hmm nasema basi tumlaumu sofa paka mm-hmm. kwa kuweza kumpa nafasi ya kuweza kucheza ila nasema kwamba pia upande wa bandari mm-hmm. akaweze kuangaliwa kwamba labda ni nini ambacho hakufanya kiusahihi kuweza kumruhusu mchezaji kuweza kuondoka kwao mchezaji ambaye labda ameweza kuondoka acha pale sofa paka ameshafunga mm-hmm. bao dhidi mm-hmm. ya KCB waliposhinda mabomu matatu mm-hmm. kwao sioni lolote wao waweze kumtoa mm-hmm. e, kama ni mshahara unataka basi mm-hmm. waweze kumpiga faini waweze mm-hmm. kumtaki akaweze kurudisha hizo hizo hela basi lakini aendelee kupiga eh, mpiga mpira wake mahali ambapo poe mwenye anaifurahikia maana mm-hmm. pale uh, sofa paka kama anaweza kuifurahikia basi mm-hmm. moyo umetua hapo apatiwe nafasi ya kuweza na hapo mali anacheza aendelee kucheza hapo aendelee kucheza hapo so they, they should solve this thing amicably yeah, yeah. sio lazima waweze kuchukua attention mingi huku nje labda kuweza kuonyesha kwamba wanahudumiwa <laughs> hakuna mtu yote ambaye labda na keti kuweza kujumu bandari ila kwa <laughs> shirikisho la soka humu nchini FKF ni swala ambalo inafaa pia waangalie vizuri wakazidi mm-hmm. kulitatua huko ndani kuonyesha kwamba uh, masuala kama haizi kutokeleza maana kama tuweza kufanya masuala kama hayo mm. inaonyesha kwamba labda ligi yetu ilishakomana inarudi chini na zeka yani sawa sawa 25 minutes zimekatika kipindi ya wani ni base v wanjani my name is paul mwana sport in studio with me is vini tuko hapa tunaendelea kusema yote ya kimichezo ambayo anaendelea kutokea anyway uh, i don't want to comment about that thing because anyway uh, 
hii ni kwa top tier sawa uh-huh. this is our top league uh-huh. na division 1 na, na huko chini kunaendelea nini kama player anaweza <laughs> kama player kwa top club yenye kwa top flight uh-huh. anaweza enda acheze timu nyingine ame score already sawa mm. alafu kuna timu na bado tunamlipa uh-huh. so kama hii club nyingine inamlipa ni uh-huh. eh, mishara inaingia <laughs> anyway <laughs> sawa sawa <laughs> but, like, it, anyway ah, 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 there is some problem somewhere it needs to be fixed uh-huh. remember to download our app uh, if you are watching us na una uh, app ya base radio www.baseradio.co.ke that's the link to our website anyway ingia kwa simu yako google play store jikamatia app ya base radio na utusikilize hapo kwa mahali popote pale ulipo base radio your number one online radio station vinini nataka tuangalie fixtures eh? mm-hmm. eh, games za uh, weekend eh? mm-hmm. just as after goal kuni ni basi oh, eh, eh. ile kitu kingine <laughs> sasa ile kitu kingine sasa ni wao waamue eh, eh. kama wataenda kushinda ama oh, washindi <laughs> wanacheza na Murangasil na banda imekuwa kubwa sana kwa mtandao mm-hmm. eh, the two admins wamekuwa wakifanya kazi walipwe <laughs> <laughs> admin wamefanya kazi admin wa Gor na admin wa Murangasil eh, eh. taska watakuwa nakutana na Nairobi City Stars eh taska mkae chonjo hawa sasa ni wanoma mm-hmm. jana waungwaru mm-hmm. ah shabana dhidi ya nzo ya sugar mm-hmm. these are two wanyongez meeting each other <laughs> post rangers na leopards uhui <laughs> Bidco United na KCB Bandari na Kariobangi Sharks. Nataka tuanze hapa kwa Bandari na Sharks. Uh-huh. Game iko Nairobi. Mhm. Eh, admin ametuwekea kijana tayari amebeba papa. Uh-huh. Papa ndio huyo hapa. Papa alitoka draw uh-huh. na AFC Leopards eh. Uh-huh. Ndio hawa hapo uh, dhidi ya Bandari. Uh-huh. Ii game unaona ikiendaje? Uh, ni game ambayo mimi naona kwamba hapa japokuwa bandari wako nje lakini mm-hmm. wana mchezo fulani ambao wanawaletea wale au wana Karibangi Sharks mm-hmm. kilinganisha kwamba zote ni timu ambazo nitasema timu za mtaani maana yake bandari inawakilisha mkoa wa Pwani mm-hmm. na Sharks ndio wenye labda jiji la Nairobi kiweza kusema upande mwingine so ndasema kwamba kulingana na vile ambavyo Sharks ameweza kujituma msimu huu hajaweza kupata ile form yake mzuri sana ambayo labda inaweza kumstiri wanapoenda kupatana na bandari bandari naye matokeo yake hajakuwa matokeo ambao anaweza fanya nini ambao anaweza kutabirika maana leo utampata labda na mlabu wa Leopard kesho anaweza kupewa labda kichapo chake na uh, timu mbalimbali so <tos> uhai uh, yule papa hmm. kwa jina la Kampala. Mtu uhai papa. Kuna any game we weekend uh, before tuendelee na wana ikitoa i5 kama game ya jana. Uh, home boys. Uh, home boys walipea mtu i5. Uh, kwanza ni Kongole kwa yeah. sababu ni mechi. Kwa <laughs> <laughs> na kina timu anasema kama ujui timu achana na ball. <laughs> <laughs> kuna vijana pale sio tu Moses Shuma kuna kina Ishihanda kuna sh- kuna Shila Shilaba Shilaba mm. wanafanya mambo yao pale homeboys na jana waliweza kumtoa ma- manyoa sana wile uh, mwanasofa paka mm. wakaweza kuhakikisha kwamba miaka uh, labda maisha yake yote tisa anaweza kuangamia. Kwa mm. eh, ni mechi ambayo labda ileza kuleta mabao matano na mm. ileza kuleta labda ushindi mkubwa sana mchini. So uone any game yenye inaweza ta 5 si si oni anyway kama bado na chezo hapa Nairobi bidco kcb na bidco eh uh-huh. yeah. kcb na bidco okay. kcb ni mwapea 3 points uh-huh. though i know bidco might uh, turn up very well uh-huh. but I play against KCB I give KCB the 3 points. Uh, upande wangu mimi naona kama labda KCB kuweza kumpatia points tatu ni kama labda kumweza kumpa Christmas. Mm. Uh, na mba, na bado Christmas iko mbali sana. Kwa upande wangu naona kwamba uh, upande wa Bidco wana nafasi mm-hmm. na kuweza kupata angalau point ama hata zote tatu kwa sababu ukiangalia msimu huu wao mm. na wale uh, vijana kutokea kule Nyanza nita, Moroni Sugar mm. nasema ni timu ambazo pia labda zimekuwa zikiweza kusimamisha mababe huko nchini. Kwa nasema kwamba unapovuta upande uh, kama upande wa KCB mimi naivuta upande wa Bigo kuweza kupata angalau pointi moja ama hata zote tatu iwapo itawezekana Leopards na Posta hii <laughs> game nataka kwa mwai game sitaki kuamua ah uh, hii game sitaki sitaki uongo eh <laughs> eh uh, it's a tight match and uh, it's a tight match to Leopards <laughs> Posta Rangers mm-hmm. Posta is the favorite <laughs> to win this game uh-huh. 
Anyway, we una yona aje. Mi mi na yogopa. Mi mi kama fan wa ingwe. Niliona. We. Niliona pale mitenda oni. Vile admin mwenye mwende shaji wa labda maso alif slipper pale mitenda oni. Kesa kusema kwamba hajui labda alivufika pale mbele posta. Lakini wenda lewa kajua katika wanja ulinzi complex. Kwa sioni kama. Sioni kama labda ni mecha mbao alif slipper na kila lolo. Ana lolote la kweza kupeleka katika mchizu huu. Kwa sika mikuwa na msimu mzuri msimu huu. Yes. Ame zidi kujiongoza vizuri uh, John kama wanazidi kufanya kazi yake japo sisi tunazidi kumpiga vijembe mm. lakini yeye yeah, anazidi kuangalia machuchi na kufanya kazi yake kwa hiyo naona kwamba FC Leopard iwapo alishindwa kupiga wachezaji wa ambao ni wa City Stars wachezaji ambao hawajakaa pamoja pia kwa muda mm. nakumbuka kwenye uh, kwenye akizungumza na wanahabari yule uh, Nicholas Mute aliweza kusema kwamba wachezaji wake bado pia hawajapata ile labda formation ambayo wanaweza wacheza nayo pamoja mm-hmm. na hawajapata labda ile kitu ambacho labda eh, naweza sema kwa mambo anasema jeling. Kwa mm. iwapo hawajapata jeling na wanaweza mpiga FC Leopard magoli matatu kwa mawili. Mm. FC Leopard ilikuwa moja dakika ya mwisho. Mm. Sioni kama labda poster ambayo amekaa pamoja, wachezaji wengi wamekaa pamoja kwa misimu takriban mitatu mm. watashindwa kupiga FC Leopard. Maana kwa kiende FC Leopard yeah. pia wao wanalia kwamba wachezaji wajafanya jeling. Na baadhi ya wachezaji wao wengi walitoka pale nzoi ambao ni wachezaji takriban sita. Walikuwa mm. wanacheza mfumo mmoja. Kwa mechi hii ni mechi ambao posta ataamua kama anataka kuachilia sare ama anataka kuchukua pointi zote tatu mm. lakini FC Leopard timu yangu sikatai mm. atuna lolote katika mechi hiyo <laughs> takida kopa <laughs> acha hata tumeze mate hapa na comment kidogo uh-huh. e, takida kopa anasema on air iko fire anasema sisi kama Manchester City lazima tumchape mtu wiki hii ni sawa <laughs> ka comment hapo kwa hiyo post anasema diwa boka Uh, ambieni Jeff akwende bwana. <laughs> ah Jeff amesema tu kweli timu yes, kubwa timu kubwa zinatafuta kitu kikubwa lakini like uko hey. Jeff na watu wa Goru nao kuja hapa kama nyuki. <laughs> eh kaa tu na bus ni hawa tuki na Jeff walikuwa wanatuonyesha buses za Yanga, Simba <laughs> na Waidad. Sasa hii tumepata bus tena wanalia at mediocrity. Yeah. Tukue watu wanapenda consistency. <laughs> anyway ni sawa pia eh, wakati timu haina basi pia ilikuwa na tu journalist na kasports anaamka kwa, kwa page yake anaweka basi ya timu fulani uh-huh. basi hapo uh-huh. eh, dio aboka every step needs to be celebrated uh-huh. gormaya is a community club and owalo is a member of the community uh-huh. ah, sawa so, Fabian Mwiti e bandari <laughs> nyindo mlipeana mchezaji na mnalipa sasa bus ni kitu ya ku celebrate surely next time nitakuja studio we talk about that later eh we buda <laughs> Fabian Mwiti hivi <laughs> vitu vya studio vinakuita hapo kuja utueleze hivi e, kama bandari media team uboezo kwa kwa media team ya bandari kabisa aambie walipeana aje mchezaji maana anacheza alafu kuja kubwatuka huko eh, unakuja kutuwekea eti barua <laughs> kwa mtandao na wakati alitoka akakosa kukuja mazoezi ya mkusema uh-huh. naona bandari football club is hiding something from us uh-huh. i think so they are hiding something from us this is a dio boka how was the player registered very good question <laughs> even after the complaint so fopaka still fielded the player yesterday which means they are confident he is their player sure. <laughs> statement kama eh? presida ili kaleko anaweza hey. kufanya mkataba wa nyuma si ndio haya yeah. wachezaji wenu wanaenda games za wao wakitumia bus <laughs> zetu wanapelekwa <laughs> na jet na SGR <laughs> <laughs> Clement Angwenyi shabana leo tunawa mtu Clement kutoka na Ivasha hey, hey, hey. shabana unawa nani unawa Nzoia <laughs> tuko hapo Clement ametupeleka kwa game ya shabana na Nzoia uh-huh. ini game ya wanyonge wawili uh-huh. i think uliona pia barua wakilalamika about mafanu wa madem uh-huh. Eh, ilikuwa ni hizo hiyo ni, ni nonsense. Mm-hmm. Though last time kaka ka story kalitembea anga FC kulikuwa anga na Kasuende hapo mm-hmm. kisonono tu ah, story tu story to ujinga ujinga hapo. <laughs> Tukielekea corona. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so sasa kaka story nilikawa na shabana tena. Eh. Alafu nikakumbuka kaka story kanaweza kuwa ni ukweli juu kuna fan ilikuwa na yeye juzi. Mm-hmm. Alafu akaniambia nika akaniambia ah Ah mafan wa Shabana hata unaona wengine hata hawajua wachezaji. Uh-huh. Nauliza tu fan ah mimi nimekuja kuona game. Yaani it's allowed sometimes fan anaamua kwenda kuona game. Uh-huh. Eh jaandikwa mahali lazima ujue wachezaji. Yeah, Lakini ni apart from sasa huto tu story tu waliandika huko kwa mitandao. Uh-huh. Hizo sio story ya kuandika kwa club kubwa kama iko nini FKFPL wanacheza na Nzoia. Uh-huh. Eh hey, game unaonaje? Mm, ni mechi ambayo unaona kwamba eh, Shabana ana nafasi kulingana mm-hmm. na jina lake. 
Mm. Lakini kulingana na viwango vya mchezo uh, Shabana hana nafasi. Mm. Kwa sababu ukiangalia maswala ambayo wanapitia okay, hatuwezi sema labda hatuwezi hakiki yale maswala ambayo waliweza kutokelezea mitandaoni mm. na kusema kwamba mashabiki wao wakike wanaweza kutumia labda ile advantage mm. na kuweza kutoka na wale wachezaji kabla wajacheza mechi, mm. wakiamkia mkesha wa mechi, mm. wamechoka wanafikiria tu mambo ya ndani kwa ndani. Kwa mimi mm. kwamba ni nafasi kwa ndoia mm. uh, ambao wameza kuwalinyang'anywa pointi, walinyang'anywa bao la wazi walipocheza NFC Leopard mechi ofatia awaleza kushinda bao moja kwa sufuri mm-hmm. uh, na mechi ambao wanakuja hapa wakiwa na winning mentality shabana baada ya kupitia msi, michezo kama mitatu minne hivi bila kuona ushindi sura ya ushindi ndasema kwamba ni swala ambalo litazidi kuandama litazidi mm-hmm. kuwakula uh, kufukuza kocha si jambo la kawai, si jambo la kuweza kumaliza migogoro katika klabu mm-hmm. uh, mimi naipa uwezo uh, mm-hmm. sana uh, nzoia united mm-hmm. kuweza kuweza kuleta ile maarifa Mm-hmm. ana msimu eh, moja huko chini ama msimu wili mm-hmm. nzoia lakini Shabana alimkieni kwa ukiona maswala kama yale anatokelezea mm-hmm. leo wachezaji wanataka raha mchezaji tu ambaye labda yuko pale anaelewa ligi huko chini ni Eugene Mukangula mm-hmm. uh, wengine pia bado wanazidi kuingia katika da lugha za kuweza kujua kona zote za MKF mm-hmm. huko <laughs> lakini si Agwanda pia yuko pale eh, no eh, Aloru wako pale mm. hey, hey. anyway <laughs> before wajue jiji wako wengi pale wataendelea kuju za najiji. <laughs> uh, tumalize hizi fixtures eh? na Tasca na City Stars umeniambia unapea Tasca? Ah uh, Tasca simpi anapitia mm. wakati mgumu mm. na dhani waleza kushusha ile waleza kushusha tamaa ya Robert Matano kuweza kufanya kazi mm. jana wako amezaidi kusonga sana uh, na kumbuka wachezaji wameza kusema kwamba wanapitia wakati mgumu kwa sababu mm. sasa hivi ukiangalia uh, kocha sidhani kama ana moyo asilimia mia kwa mia mm-hmm. wakuweza kufanya kazi na kuweza kuonyesha kwamba wanapata yale matokeo kwa ukiangalia okay, wanafasi ambao wanaketi katika ligumu nchini na ni nafasi ya kudorora sana City Stars wanazidi kujibuild wana build confidence kutokana na mechi ambayo walishinda FC Leopard magoli matatu kwa mawili mm-hmm. na wanapokuja pale lolote lile hata asari tawasaidia wao lakini na imani kwamba Muyoti mm-hmm. ana agenda moja tu ya kuweza kupiga vilabu vyote ambao vinajiita the big uh, clubs in Aya, tumalizia na ile game uh, imeleta uh, joto sana uh-huh. uh, nimesikia is a sponsor derby <laughs> Is a sponsor derby eh. Gor Maya na Muranga Sil. Eh. Eh, Muranga wamekuja tu na forward. Eh. Eh, Gor Maya wamenini bus. Uh-huh. Mimi na wana Gor watabebwa na ako ka mood ka bus uh-huh. hadi washindwe na Muranga Sil. Eh. Eh. Na wana Muranga Sil wanajua team tunaenda kukutana nayo. Uh-huh. Eh, si team kidogo. Uh-huh. Lakini pia lazima tuwaonyeshe uh-huh. cuz uh, Muranga Sil has been performing this season. Sure game ndio hiyo. Ah ni game ambayo nimesikia ama labda nikisijasikia vile na pia labda nimeweza kusika moja kwa moja na baadhi ya mashabiki wa FC Leopard na wao wametai points eh. Ehe, wamesema, 2020. Leo mambo ni matatu tu. Mm. E, kuweza kupokea basi, mm. kuweza kuidhinisha jezi mpya, mm. na kuweza kuchukua alama tatu kutoka kwa Mbranga. <laughs> ah ni swala ambalo linawezekana maana kivyovyote vile japokuwa mimi ni hasidi wa Gormaya lakini siwezi shangilia vita vya Moranga Seal. Ah mimi ni hasidi wa Gormaya lakini siwezi shangilia vita vya Moranga Seal na t- ya Gormaya kwa sababu siku zote mbabe mpe nafasi katika vita vyovyote vile ambavyo anaenda kupigana. Kwa hiyo uh, Gormaya naweza sema kwamba hii sio mechi kama uh, labda za kawaida maana yake Muranga Sil aliweza uh, kutoka nafasi mbaya uh, ambao hakustahili kaweza kuingia katika ligi kuu nchini aliweza kumaza nafasi ya pili. Uh, jitihada zake za mwisho haziweza kufua haziweza kufua dafu vile lakini mimi nina uwezo kwa mimi na, na uwezo wa kuona mechi hii ikielekea ikiambulia patupu wa sare kwa sare, sare ya sufuri kwa sufuri kwa sababu ukiangalia zote mbili nitadhani nadhani kwamba alipoitisha kile kikosi cha Uh, profession, uh, provisional squad mm. cha wachezaji cha Harambe Stars huko chini Gormaya ameweza kupata takriban wachezaji watatu ambao mm. wanaweza kushiriki uh, upande wa Muranga Silo na yule uh, midfielder anaitwa Balecho mm. uh, kama sijakosea mm. so nitasema kwamba sidhani kama wataweza kumkinga yule Balecho mm. lakini kwa labda for the interest of the nation mchezaji mm. kama uh, yule anaitwa simi, anaitwa Simiti yule mm. uh, uh, Geoffrey Ocheng ambaye ni naibu uh, captain mm-hmm. ale Gormaya upande mwingine utaona kwamba kuna Runi Onyango mm. alafu kuna yule mshambulizi wao Benson Omala ambaye kwa nafasi ya kwa mara ya kwanza ameweza kupata ile call up mm. kocha engine Firat baada ya kushifua kwa muda. Kwa mimi nitasema kwa Lakini ha- si Omala upata na anacho. 
pale kwa kamba tujui kutaendaje because hata nikiangalia kikosi nilikuwa nasoma hiyo story before doing a studio ndio mm ilikuwa na mwana sport firata anika joshi kumaliza gabon ukiangalia hata kwa makipa patrick matasi ya notieno na joseph ochuka sio ni wakienda wote watatu lakini jambo lilikuwa nikisema ndasema kwamba akizungumza na wana habari kwenye kikao na wana habari injin firatu kile aliweza kusema kwamba anatamania sana wachezaji wake wengi tu wakawa wanajiunga na kikosi cha cha Rambe Stars huko nchini na wameza kuonyesha ubora wao huko nchini mm. na sasa ni swala la kubainika kwamba atakuwa anatetea labda wasiwezi kuhusika kwenye majeraha wale wachezaji watatu ambao wameitwa mm. ama atawapatia mchezo akazidi kuinua hadhi ya timu ambao mm. labda watakuwa nakutana na Muranga Sil upande wa Muranga Sil siwezi sema kwamba labda wapo viwango vya kupigana na Gormaya wao bado makinda kabisa mm. na nikiweza kupeana mtazamo wangu naona kwamba Gormaya masuala yao matatu wataweza kutimia kwamba basi wanalipata mm. uh, jezi wanalipata mm. na wanapiga mtu wanapiga mranga si watazipata ni sawa sawa mimi nimemalizia hapo piga break kidogo hapa na video fulani hapo kwa sababu under 20 mm-hmm. eh, Kenya watakuwa wanapambana na Cameroon mm-hmm. hawa ni wasichana wa Beldino Deba eh. mm-hmm. eh, Demba watakuwa wanapambana na Cameroon eh. mm-hmm. eh, Amadou Aijo ah, kule Cameroon yaunde itakuwa ni saa moja mm-hmm. eh, East African time so Enjoy hiyo video nikirudi na vinia hapa tutakuwa tunaangalia highlight yake ilikuwa gani kwa UEFA Champions League mm-hmm. lakini pia EPL ni moto weekend hii kwa sababu <laughs> Chelsea na Manchester City Chelsea baada ya kupiga Tottenham Hotspur wako hapa sasa wakikutana na Manchester City Second and final round of the Wascon qualifiers please join us at the stadium guys this is why you also need to join us ni aje unaitwa nani ah mimi naitwa nganga naitwa sanganga nganga unajua kwamba on the 17th of november rising starlets watakuwa wanacheza na cameroon and then 29th uh, harambe starlets watakuwa wanacheza na botswana uliko unajua ah uh, kitu ninajua ni ati 16th of november ni my birthday <laughs> So about 17 sijajua. Zi. Ah, kama mimi sijui. Na wewe? Na mimi bado sijajua. Ah, umesema itakuwa lini? No. Oh, uko unajua? Ah, si uko unajua. Ah, maybe next time. Oh, next time. Next time. But, uh, I, I see many watch of Kenya players, not the football player, but the runners. Yeah. Like UK. Yeah. Now, if we win this game, guess what? We will have qualified for Wafcon the second time in seven years come on be a part of our victory join us now that you know eh to join the stadium <laughs> support what watu wa Kenya au sio na so ni ni, ni poa as much as unashabikia Liverpool na wewe Manchester City tutokee tu support Kenya si ndio kweli 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 utatokea lazima nitokea tutatokea kwa wengi nitakaa kwa, kwa kiwanja nita watch natashabikia timu yetu hii Arambe Starlets habari ndio hiyo and on that Jazz study vibe the rising starlets need us because they'll be playing in the third round of the FIFA under 20 women world cup qualifiers against Cameroon on the 17th of November but zaidi we need to be here and fill the stadium i'm already seated at uh, nyayo stadium up in russia so to patane study on the 17th of november and the 29th of november so kujeni to jazz study i'll see you hashtag jazz study hashtag to jazz study hashtag to jazz study hashtag jazz study hashtag to jazz study jazz study Yes uh, that's not our material uh, courtesy of tough talk that is a video courtesy of tough talk so hiyo video imemaliza kila kitu eh, wasichana watakuwa wanacheza uh, wapewe support ambayo inafaa twende moja kwa moja azikuwa zima katika dakika 44 nyuma ya saa sita majirani ya Afrika Mashariki kipindi ya wani ni base viwanjani in your number one online radio station sasa hivi nataka tuchungulie UEFA Champions League nitakuwa <coughs> napitia results tu then vinu utakuwa unanipia highlight yako ya ilikuwa ni gani najua tuamaniwa liumia sana jamani tuamaniwa liumia
mio sana lakini kuna shida Arsenal na Sevilla tu nil kwa faida Arsenal mm-hmm. uh, Bayern München 2-1 uh, dhidi ya Galatasaray Copenhagen 4-3 against Man United uh, PSV versus Lens 1-0 Real Madrid 3-0 versus Slavia Praha Salzburg kapigwa na Inter 1-0 Napoli na Union Berlin 1-1 Real Sociedad na Benfica 3-1 AC Milan 2-1 against PSG I did not see this coming but I, I was waiting for PSG to win but anyway it is what it is Atletico Madrid 6-0 versus Celtic uh Krena Zvenda uh 1-2 versus RB Leipzig Leipzig eh send the appeal ikifuatwa na ikifuata City eh FC Porto na Antwerp 2-0 uh, Lazio na Feyenoord 1-0 Man City versus Young Boys 3-0 Dortmund na Newcastle tu nil eh hey, ndo nilifurahi mm-hmm. nikaso alitembezwa <laughs> Shakhtar Donetsk na Barcelona 1 nil highlight yako ilikuwa gani ah uh, uh, kwanza hiyo uh, labda nilimulika sana ama nitazidi kumulika sana kundi ambalo lina PSG mm-hmm. uh, lina uh, Newcastle mm-hmm. lina AS Milan na lina Borussia Dortmund maana <laughs> okay. mazinga umbo ni kama labda natokea katika kundi hilo <laughs> <laughs> muda wote mimi ungeniuliza ningekwambia labda nilimtegemea sana PSG akeziketi nafasi ya kwanza mm-hmm. aweze kutoka labda kwa pointi chache sana labda kumi na alafu kianza kuweka nafasi ya pili angenganganya yule AS Milan mm-hmm. na yule Borussia Dortmund Newcastle labda si kumpa nafasi sana lakini pia anaweza kutitiza kutikisa ile eh, labda mizizi ya PSG anaweza kumkumbusha kwamba sisi tupo na tunatokeleza Uingereza kwa uh, ni kundi ambalo hadi sasa huwezi pia na 100% kwa mia kwa mtu yote kwamba labda tafuzu mm. kwa sababu uh, mechi dhidi ya AS Milan na PSG mimi tunarajia kwamba AS Milan alikuwa na nafasi nzuri sana kule kwao kuweza kumlabwa yule uh, eh, Paris alikuwa eh, PSG alikuwa na nafasi nzuri sana ya kuweza kumlabwa yule bwana AS Milan lakini uzoefu maana kiangalia mechi hiyo kipindi cha kwanza sikumuona sana yule uh, eh, Oliver Giroud lakini mm. nilimuona tu labda akiweza kusherekea goli lake ambalo liweza kuwabeba wana AS Milan hilo ndio mechi ambayo naweza sema kwamba ndio ndo kundi ambalo nasema kwamba ninaweza kuiangalia sana kiundani ila kukonyeza tu macho upande mwingine upande wa Manchester United mm. uh, sifurahi kwamba labda matokeo haya yanakuja hivyo kwa sababu ukiangalia uh, Galatasaray ya Sham Nyonya United mm. uh, Copenhagen timu ambayo labda uh, ni, uh, sijui labda Ten Hag anatumiaje Manchester United unajua on, on Weza, paper vini mm-hmm. on paper nilikuwa nimehesabu point ambazo ni on paper mm-hmm. United uh, must get mm-hmm. Galatasaray mm-hmm. and Copenhagen mm-hmm. so for the Bayern Munich mm-hmm. now you can decide you lose away and then you can get a draw or a win at home yeah hiyo ni on paper analysis uh-huh. but then <laughs> the reality background mambo ni tofauti kwa hiyo mimi kuangalia kama mechi hiyo ataweza kuweza kupoteza maana yake alipopata kadi nyekundu yule Marcus Rashford ni kama labda nguvu fulani zileza kushuka kutoka mbinguni uh-huh. zikamshukia yule kinda ambaye labda ni ndugue Hujla ndugue Rasmus Hujland uh-huh. aye pia aweza kufanya kweli na Manchester United wameweza kuporomoka kutoka labda vile viwango vyao ambavyo labda niweza kushuhudia kwamba ongeweza onge, kuibuka washindi mechi kwa kiangalia mechi ambazo labda wamesalia nazo ni Galatasaray ambayo mkondo wa kwanza aliweza kuanyonya wameweza kubakia na Bayern Munich ambao kwa sasa hivi wakaweza kupatiwa Manchester United sidhani kama labda tutaokota kutakuwa na maokoto ya mabao kadhaa wenda hata matano kwenda juu kwa sioni lolote kama Manchester United anaweza survive mm. kama ni point labda za Galatasaray ambazo anatarajia kwamba labda anaweza kumvusha daraja hili mm. kumbushe kwamba kuna zaha yuko kule yeah, Wilfred Zaha yeah, so ako ready kukutana na customer wake wa zamani Manchester anaweza kuporomoka <laughs> Ndani kama ataweza kuvuka daraja hili naona kiporomoka upande upande wa pili ni Newcastle yuko 50 50 mm. uh, Arsenal ashatwa ndani Manchester City ashatwa ndani kwa mm-hmm. ni klabu mbili kutoka Uingereza ambazo labda shavuka ile daraja kabisa Sawa sawa bana uh, tuyaache hayo uh, ya UEFA Champions League tuingie ndani ya EPL EPL weekend hii ni moto mm-hmm. mm, Manchester United must collect the three points against Luton <laughs> Town if not I don't know where the fans will hide Bournemouth versus Newcastle Newcastle a wounded lion after being beaten by Borussia Dortmund I guess this is three points to them mm-hmm. Everton versus Crystal Palace tough match Burnley Arsenal Arsenal three points Tottenham Wolverhampton uh, I don't want to predict that match nimekukaribisha <laughs> Aha, uh, uh, mimi ndasema kwamba Newcastle dhidi ya Bournemouth. Mm. Newcastle anakuja mechi weka mbali sana matukio ya Champions League. Mm. Anakuja mechi yake ijao kwamba alimpiga nani weekend ambayo ileisha. Mm. Japokuwa nyinyi mlisema mengi labda VAR nini nini lakini Ah, kulikuwa na VAR pale. <laughs> ah, pale kulikuwa na VAR. Maswala mengi ambayo labda umeweza kusema. Yaani nilikuwa naangalia Sky. Aha. <laughs> 
last guy hadi hadi reporter aliyeka ball kwa ground kwa ile line kuonyesha eh, <laughs> mali <laughs> hiyo ball imekuwa ah <laughs> uh, mimi ndasema kwamba ni mecha ambao mimi natarajia kuona kwamba uh, Newcastle anazidi kuchukua ile fomu yake maana yake msimu huu hajakuwa na fomu ambayo labda ni a standard form amekuwa na fomu ambayo ni ya kupanda na kushuka lakini kwa mechi hii sioni kama Bournemouth ambao atakuwa labda anaweza kusomesha Newcastle vingu vyake vyote nadhani viko sawa majeruhi kuna baada ya majeruhi ambao labda Newcastle wenda kawapokea kwenye kikosi mm. ambao walikuwa wamejeruhiwa na natumai kwamba Newcastle tuweze kufanya kweli mechi kati ya Tottenham na Wolverhampton uh, baada tu ya kuweza kupoteza ule ubikra wao wale Tottenham mm. ambao wanaongozwa na kocha Ange Postecoglou ambao ameshinda Ah uh, tuzo la kocha bora kwa ma, kwa mara tatu ama labda amefululiza mara tatu kwa miezi mitatu mm. uh, tumeweza kuvunja ule ubikra wao sisi kama Chelsea na mm. anakuja katika mechi akiweza kuwa na baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wameweza kupata kadi nyekundu mm. wawili tu ambao ni viungo muhimu sana ambao pia waleza wanamsaidia wana kwa kiongozi kikubwa yes. alafu upande wa pili pia kuna wachezaji ambao waleza kupata majeruhi Uh, katika labda kile mechi ambao alicheza na Chelsea kwao ni mechi ambayo haitakuwa rahisi upande wa uh, Tottenham kumbuka msimu huu ni yule Wolverhampton ambaye labda ameweza pia kupata pointi akicheza na yule Manchester City kwao sidhani kama katika ubora wake yule Wolverhampton naona kwamba labda anaweza pata nafasi mm-hmm. na kuweza pia kuendeleza uh, alichoanzisha mwana Chelsea katika uwanja wa Tottenham nyumbani kwao kivivote vile uh, mtu ambaye labda ana moyo kuweza mm-hmm. kuwekeza katika mechi mm-hmm. najua unaweza uona kwamba labda ndao una unatarisha maisha unatarisha hela zako mm-hmm. lakini Wolverhampton ana uwezo wa kuweza kumtitimua Tottenham Hotspur uh-huh. akitumia the same script uh-huh. which was uh, used Shabu by tisha. Mauricio <laughs> Pochettino <laughs> <laughs> Anyway United versus Luton Town uh, United, United, United na first kwanza kuchukua hii eh, kuchukua hizi alama mm. iwapo kwa mabasi atataka kuenda katika international break akiwa na mentality mzuri mm. uh, amekuwa na msimu mbaya lakini si msimu mbaya sana kushiriki kuliko Chelsea maana yake msimu huu unaangalia kwamba labda anaweza pigwa na zile mechi ndogo uh, timu ndogo lakini mechi kubwa kaweza kuibukia kwao kama anataka kwenda katika um, hatua hii ya kuweza kupumzika international break kama na nafasi labda ya kuweza kupiga labda smile kidogo yule Eric Ten Hag mm. nafasi ya kuweza kuchukua zile points tatu kutoka kwa Luton na usisahau kwamba Luton mm-hmm. aliweza kutoka sare na Liverpool uwanjani mm. Anfield uwanja ambao hata wenga akaweza kuzungumza na wanahabari aliweza kusema kwamba ni uwanja ambao wanaogopea sana kwao wana confidence fulani mm. wanapokuja kukutana na timu ya Manchester United au United iwapo atajika pamoja kama wachezaji mm-hmm. wataweza kushinda mechi lakini iwapo basi wataweza kutelekeza na ile dressing room yao izidi labda kwa kamoto yeah. sioni kama basi wataweza kumpiga Luton kumbuka kwamba Chelsea walipiga mabao matatu Luton mm. uh, Tottenham wakampiga bao moja mm-hmm. Luton Town mm. kwa Liverpool wakatoka naye sare mm. Manchester United si hizi mweka mahali mm. lakini na imani kwamba Elton Hag hizi ni alama ambazo anaweza kuweka kibindoni mm. zimsaidie sana wenda labda tukieza kutoka kama hajashinda hizi labda alama tatu mm-hmm wenda labda sireje kutoka labda international break asume na hadi tajiri mpya ameanza uh, kuingilia kati uh, eh, kwa nasoma na... story moja tajiri mpya anauliza mm-hmm. his question in the club mm-hmm. how they been able to use uh, that uh, amount of money mm-hmm. and they are doing nothing the field akikwata uh, uh, fee ya pogba akikwata mm-hmm. fee ya maguaya okay. fee ya jadon sancho mm-hmm. like in question uh, why have you uh, are we using uh, such uh, kind of figures in transfer window and we are doing nothing in the field kwa sababu the thing to labda anadhani yule tajiri itakuwa bora tukimtaja za Jim Ratcliffe ni mtu ambaye labda atakuja kuiporomosha Manchester United sana kwa viwango vya sana kwa sababu iwapo basi hajapata zile hatamu za kuweza kuchukua majukumu rasmi na ameanza kuingilia baadhi ya masuala ambayo yanatokea chini ama labda chini ya utendakazi wa the Glazers family inaonyesha waziwazi niliweza kuona kwamba aliweza ku liza maswali mengi sana mbona labda Manchester United ileza kumchukua yule mchezaji Casemiro mm. kutoka kule uh, Real Madrid wakati ambao umri wa, wakati ambapo umri wake mm. uko umeweza kufika labda hatma uh, ya 30 mm. kwao ni mtu ambaye inaonyesha kwamba kwa kimombo naweza sema he's a bit petty and mm-hmm. he's coming maybe not to akuji kubembeleza yote pale Manchester United iwapo kama basi ule mkataba jinsi ambavyo tunaweza kuona na kukisia pale mtandaoni kwamba atakuwa anachukua uh, nafasi katika labda dirisha la uhamisho la Manchester United basi mm. Manchester United watakuwa na nafasi ya kuweza kumtoa Erickson Hag 
Young mm. watamleta yule ambao labda ameweza kisiwa yule Graham Potter. Mm. Sisi kwamba ni rasmi mm. ila ninaona kwamba ule Uingereza ambao ako nao yule But uh, Potter failed. Uh, anaweza kuwa alifail pale Chelsea lakini akaweza ku succeed at Manchester United. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sawa sawa. Eh <laughs> ni Sajim uh, is going to own 25%, correct? Mm-hmm. 25% na, na unaleta noma hivyo. Anyway, ni sawa. <laughs> <laughs> eh dio abuka nataka kupitia uh, Man City na Chelsea. Uh-huh. Sema good boy. Nadhani ni vile vile nimepiga picha ama. <laughs> I'm allergic to photos and uh, jamaa ameamua kuni congratulate kwa kupiga photo. Onyango otuoma Man City kichwa. Uh-huh. Hapo ndo tunakuja shikilia hapo eh. <laughs> eh tuko na mtu wa Chelsea hapa. Hiyo <laughs> tutakuwa nampea dakika tatu wa chambu hiyo game amalize. Kelvin Momanyi Chelsea kichwa hiyo miguu mirefu ya Haaland itavunjwa kesho. Sawa, <laughs> amesema <laughs> ako. <laughs> ako Mombasa. Ana huduma asante sana Joseph Mwabili, uh, Wilson uh, uh, Tony Owiti, Yanolin Shanyi, kama wengine tunashinda ama tushindi leo Brian Arunga, Abdul Naftal, uh, Mary Wambogo, Moses Maruti, Lona Mbihi, Julia Suza na Bonuke Esbun pamoja na Michael Fidela hawa ni watu ambao wametune kwa upande wa likes uko asanteni sana kipindi ya 1 ni base bonjani ni number one online radio station that is base radio tumalizie mm-hmm. Chelsea na Man United mechi babu kubwa wiki. highlight ya weekend ah uh-huh. hmm. uh, ni si mechi ya mchezo vile mm-hmm. na maoni ambayo nitazungumza ni maoni yangu kwa sababu mimi ni shabiki wa Chelsea. Mm-hmm. E, sitaficha hilo kwa sababu mambo mmeyaona ama historia mmeiona. Ah mimi nitasema kwamba ni mechi kwa upande wa Manchester City nikiangalia ni mechi ambao anataka kushinda bwana Pep Guardiola akaweze kwenda katika labda mapumziko ya ili juma ambalo tunafuatia akiweza kuwa kidedea ama ligi kuu eh, kule Uingereza. Na upande wa Chelsea ah, nadhani wana mission moja tu akiweza kuzungumza na wanahabari kabla ya mechi ya Tottenham. Uh, kocha Chelsea Mauricio Pochettino anaweza kusema kwamba wanatuni ya moja tu kuweza kushinda na kuweza ku, uh, kwa kimomba alisema kwamba we want to win and destroy the opponent kwanza ku, ku, kushinda na kuharibu labda vile viwango vya opponent alieleza ni swala ambalo aliweza kujitokeza wazi katika mechi ambayo aliweza kutana siku ya Jumatatu na timu ya Tottenham so uh, kwa upande wa Chelsea kiweza kuangalia kwamba uh, majeruhi pia bado wanazidi kutusakama kwa sababu ukiangalia Enzo Fernandez aliweza kutoka Enzo Fernandez aliweza kutoka katika mechi ambayo tulizana na Tottenham uh, Jumatatu akiwa uh, anachechemea na ni swala la hati hati kama labda iwapo atapata nafasi katika mechi ambayo tutacheza kesho uh, kuna baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wamezidi kurudi katika ki kikosi cha Chelsea akiwemo yule Romeo Lavia na yule mshambulizi ambaye amezidi kusubiri wa sana Christopher Nkuku ameweza kurudi lakini hawatakuwa wanajumuisha katika mechi ya kesho kwa akaweza kupanga kikosi chake vizuri uh, Mauricio Pochettino akaweza kuwapatia nafasi na wa, ule ulinzi ambao labda defense iweze kukaa katika uh, mikono ya Thiago Silva basi mimi naona kama bado tunaweza pata angalau pointi moja dhidi ya Manchester City kwa sababu kiangalia shambulizi kuu sio hala tu jinsi ambavyo labda mtazamaji wetu anaweza angalia uh, shambulizi kuu uh, Manchester City wanatokelezea pande po, pande yani pande yoyote ile kuangalia mm-hmm. pembeni kuna Bernardo Silva kuangalia pande mwingine kuna Phil Foden kuna Rodrigo pale katikati ni kumkosa tu labda yule Kevin De Bruyne ambaye pia amekuwa kidonda sana kwa timu ya Chelsea kwa mechi za hivi karibuni mm-hmm. meza kuona pale mtandaoni wakeza kutusambazia uh, highlight flani hivi ya magoli sita kwa sufuri na kuwakumbusha tu kwamba aliyefunga baadhi ya mabao haya alikuwa Rahim Sterling wakati akiwa Manchester City kwa sioni kama ni swala ambalo litaweza kuitisha timu ya Chelsea. Pana Manchester City nasema kwamba ni klabu ambayo imeweza kuitimika, awaleza kumaliza shughuli yao mapema sana katika timu ya wiki na nikaona waweza kupumzisha baadhi ya wachezaji wao nyota. Kwa uh, iwapo Chelsea watakuja na ile mbinu basi ya kuweza kuona kwamba wanazidi kushikamana kwa sababu kuna yule mchezaji ambaye anaitwa Cole Palmer, wengi wameweza kumbeza sana lakini ukiangalia ile role ambayo alicheza dhidi ya timu ya Arsenal, role ambayo alicheza dhidi ya timu ya Tottenham ni roles ambazo Manchester City wakeza kuachia wa nafasi finyo sana ni mchezaji ambaye anaweza kufungua ile safu ya defense ya timu pinzani kwao aliweza kumzungumzia uh, bwana eh, eh, Pep Guardiola akaweza kusema kwamba anamfurahikia alichokikosa pale Manchester City ni wakati ni muda wa kucheza lakini kwa vivote vile uh, sidhani kama labda anaweza kutaja mchezaji mmoja tu niseme kwamba labda huyu ataweza kuwa tisho kwa timu ya, ya Manchester City upande wa Manchester eh, upande wa Manchester City kutoka katika katika upande wa Chelsea kwao ni mechi ambao hakuna mchezaji mbaya labda ataweza kumwangalia wengi watasema kwamba 
kwamba Haaland na Ingo semi kwamba hajawaifunga labda Chelsea itaingia labda atue pale Uingereza kwa mechi yote ambayo tumecheza lakini hilo sio jambo la kuweza kuangalia na kuweza ku, 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 labda kufikiria kwamba labda tushashinda mechi hiyo mechi bado ni ngumu mm-hmm. lakini kivyo vote vile mimi naona Manchester City mm-hmm. uh, anaweza bahatika kupata sare dhidi ya timu ya Chelsea <laughs> wapo basi kama hiyo e, comment e, ni Chelsea yetu sana haiti hatabahatika wapo basi ile kocha ile ile refa ambao ameweza kupiwa hata hatamu za kuweza kuongoza mechi hiyo mm-hmm. Anthony Taylor manaki sileo ni vipi Juma moja ameweza kupelekwa labda katika championship mm-hmm. Juma lalofuatia Chelsea wanataka kutoa Manchester City anaweza kuletwa lakini si shuhudi kama labda VR itaweza kuleta mchakato tofauti katika mechi hii lakini ninachosubiria kwamba Chelsea waweze kushikamana wapate sare ndipo sa atakuwa na rekodi nzuri mm-hmm. kwa zile klabu sita za kwanza pale mbele Sawa sawa the conversation continues uh, you can uh, channel your comments in that live broadcast under the comment section Clemo Ngwenyi uh, si tunamaliza show hapa nasema ni Clemo wa Vasha tena Chelsea tunafagia City vile tulilamba tote sawa lakini like Luko J eh, sema watu waache kuonea warembo wa Shabana <laughs> Shabana wako tu chini NSL mentality NSL <laughs> mentality huyo <laughs> ni like Luko J sio maneno yangu kuna group yetu ya KPL hapo kwa WhatsApp niko nafuatilia nione mmoja mmoja anasemaje mmm kama naitwa Dr. Pils eh, Leonard eh, Leopards leo mshinde bana Mm-hmm. Eh, love language washinde tu ndio washinde wa, wa njaa <laughs> kuna kitu <laughs> uh, Salim Junior ameandaline eh, tweet flani ya Gabriel Ogunda it is uh, dona- it is not a donation if the original ownership title eh, is still in the donors game He's still talking about uh, the Goromaya bus it means that the Udawala Foundation can take it back anytime they feel <laughs> like the club has no excuse eh, exclusive rights Mm, excuse exclusive Paolo Jamen has no exclusive rights yani our clubs are enslaved anyway hii najua watu watawangea hadi next week watu watakuwa wanaongea mimi nasema ni thank you kwa all of you who have tuned in to base view wanjani either through the www.baseradio.co.ke or uh, through the app which you get in your phone you download it in uh, Uh, Google Play Store kama ni mtumiaji wa simu ya kawaida kama ni mtumiaji wa iPhone unaingia ndani ya App Store unajikamatia app ya Base Radio lakini uh, niko na mambo mazuri hapa eh. eh, Exponential Media School eh. unajua sasa hizi vinini novemba eh. mm-hmm. na novemba watu waanza kutafuta watu wanafanya nini disemba mm-hmm. na disemba kutoka mahauti sana uko ni ile wiki ya wiki ya mwisho pale watu wanamalizia 20 20 yes but then kama una form ya disemba mimi niko na form hapa Exponential Media School Exponential Media School wanakuambia wak- na kupea course mbili moja ni social media marketing na ni abure social media marketing na ni abure eh, duration 3 eh, days from 5th of december to 7th of december from 5th of december to 7th of december social media marketing it is a free course so how to apply is contact uh, them via our their email info at exponential media africa in info sorry info at exponential media dot africa info at exponentialmedia.africa that is their email you can email them or call 07 uh, 8 8 555 2553 07 i repeat again 8 555 2553 you can video production video production a uh, duration of five days from uh, 11th of december to 15th of december 15000 and your fee na ifi na cover certificate na pia meals certificate kufunzwa na meals vitu tatu 15000 in five days from 11th of december to 15th of december and this one is done purely uh, by experts and it is a practical training so Social media marketing and video production. Social media marketing is free, video production is 15,000 covering kusoma, meals pamoja na certificate fee. So how to apply again contact them via their email info at info@exponentialmedia.africa or call them or WhatsApp 
uh, text up 0785552553 vini yeah, huh. maneno ya mwisho bana sie tuingie mitini uh, kabla tuingie mitini nitasema kwamba ni shukrani sana kwa mashabiki wetu uh, jambo la kuweza kwa si sana ni kuweza kuona kwamba tunaondokea tuweze kuenzi michezo yetu huko nchini Uh, tukiweza kupiga gumzo sana na wenzetu kutoka dao tunaona kwamba wana wenzi sana mchezo wao ndipo sasa watazidi kupiga na kushangilia sana uh, simba kuweza kupoteza magoli matano kwa bao uh, moja dhidi ya timu ya yanga mm. lakini jezi si, hadi zimetoka eh. eh sisi hapa mm. moranga silwa kingoja kichapo mbona tusijitokeze labda mm. uh, karibangi sharks wakingoja kichapo kutoka kwa wale bandari Mbona tusijitokeze uwanjani kwa ni swala la kuweza kuona kwamba mashabiki tuo wenzi mpira tujaribu tujitokeze uh, tuwenzi mpira wetu uh, tukihalisia na moyo wote kabla tujavuka kule majumu uh, pia ndasema kwamba uh, ni swala la kujitokeza manake michezo inatuleta pamoja na mimi naondoka nikisema kwamba tuzidi kuombeana mwisho mwema pale facebook tunapata at vincent okinda ke tuzidi kupiga gumzo na sporti asante Sande sana uh, majamano one cares about you a girl them you can take care that is base viwanjani here from base radio your number one online radio station hadi wakati ujao nasema ni kwaheri